All right, here we go. In here for five minutes. Unfortunately, for some reason, it's not showing me. Um, I'm gonna try and fix this somehow. Like, it's supposed to be. Ah, there we go. I fixed it. Turn everything down. Jesus. This game is loud for some reason. We did it. For some reason. I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes, uh, fix my friggin' hair because it's always getting in my face. I hate long hair. I kind of wish I would went back to having no hair, but we'll see. I'm gonna wait for a few minutes. Uh, we're very far into the game now. There's a like, there's 30 slots, so I think. So I think we'll be, uh, we'll be good. We'll have some fun with this, hopefully. loud because the audio was mixed that way. Yeah. It was it was mixed that way to scare the shit out of people. I'm just kind of advertising it right now. So how was everybody's uh, Easter or Good Friday? That was fun. I read. I started a new book today. Um, I made French toast. That was fun. We had like a brunch today and then we had sushi for dinner, which was Wait a few more minutes. I'm gonna wait maybe one one more minute. I think. I'm gonna advertise it everywhere. Hello, Ken is here. All right, I'll give it about 30 more seconds and 
then we'll get started. Oh, enjoy your dinner. It's very late for dinner, but then again, I've had dinner at like 11.30 at night sometimes, so. I have no room to judge because I feel bad. All right, let's get started. All right. Mukuro Ikusaba. Oh, yes. So, recap from last time. Uh, so, we just finished Sakura's trial. We figured out that she had killed herself. Um, it was very sad. Uh, Monokuma found Alter Ego and destroyed him. And... Oh, and there's apparently a 16th student running around the building that we don't know about. Who's, you know... Um, a mystery student, and her name is Mukuro Ikusaba. So. <gasps> Mukuro Ikusaba. Oh, I got a follower. What the? Yoshi Kiwi. 19. Thank you for following. Welcome to the stream. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Oh, here we go. The ultimate despair. Ooh. Watch out for her. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. Ikus Ikusaba? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Spoilers! <laughs> Three days before the worst thing so far would ever reveal itself. Alrighty then. 100 mile dis dash, pain of the junk food junkie. Chapter 5. Here we go. That's one more than 15, I know. Oh, thank you. Oh, very nice. I'm having followers from... Hmm. Alright. Oh, so Yakuya is uh, back to the breakfast uh, meetings. So let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We've never just get straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Oh. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well... He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyway. Regardless, if you want to defeat the Mastermind, you need to follow my lead. Do we? Do we really? They creep around the school like a mouse, but the Mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid the, this world of them. <laughs> Toko's just like, y yeah, sure. Whatever. Huh? Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. Gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. Oh. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. <laughs> her talking made things difficult, so I told her not to open her, her mouth without my permission. <laughs> oh. Oh, right. Okay, so... Uh, I forgot to tell Kin because she kind of missed out on the later half of the trial. So, uh, Sakura killed herself. So she, there was no actual culprit in her murder besides herself. Um, and so uh, to uh, Togami is here because and because he and uh, Hina have actually sort of. I wouldn't say they've become friends, but they have a mutual respect for each other now because of the whole trial, because obviously um, Hina sort of undermined everybody and tried to, to kill everybody. Um, so he has sort of an, a bit of a respect for her now because he doesn't just think of her as some dumb jock now. She actually has some sort of a brain. Um, and so he has kind of a mutual respect for her now and he's he has decided that 
he's going to work alongside everybody now instead of just being his own investigator kind of he's not he's gonna work he's gonna attempt to work with people is what he's he kind of got the gist of at the end of chapter four that's that's what he kind of explained at the end what but if she can't open her mouth she can't eat or drink water i don't care how about that and you're okay with that toko Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? <sighs> I believe this is the small talk Yafia warned us against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop ru running your mouth and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Yafia, we all started our exploration. Thank you, hi! And thank you for the follow! Oh, I'm getting so many new followers today! Thank you! Alright! So let's start the investigation. Uh, so obviously we are going to uh, see if there is a new floor that opened up. Because obviously there would be. Um... Here we are on the third, here's the fourth. So we probably want to start on the fourth floor. See if there's possibly... I mean, this is still going to be locked. Yeah. It's still going to be locked, so... There's got to be... Some other staircase around here. Ah, right here. And it's opened up again. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak. What? Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, the fifth floor has opened up to us, and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up until now. Uh, for some reason, it feels unpleasant. Hmm. Why would it feel unpleasant? That's strange. Uh, so now we have a giraffe themed what does this say no more stomp stomp he's so dirty <laughs> alrighty then uh, no matter when no matter where surveillance cameras are always following our every move I was hoping that we could find some monokuma coins Seem to be getting a, nothing. Oh, we found one. I always like finding these. I'm an epic gamer now. I'm getting I'm getting followers left, right, and center. It's great. So we've got another one. Five B. Catch me if you can, wait up. Is that supposed to be... That's supposed to be Makoto, and then that's obviously supposed to be Kiri Kiri. <laughs> Alright. Huh? Does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Is she trying to say something? I think she almost... Just a little more and I might get it. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. <laughs> She just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. Alright, well. This is like zebra print. This room is like zebra print. Why is one of the tags first pers person shooter? I mean, it's first person and you don't shoot things, but like... Yeah, but in, um, in, uh, I think they, they classify it as a first-person shooter because of, um, some of the mini-games, but also because the, uh, spin-off game 
Ultra Despair Girls is a first person, well, it's a third person shooter, technically. And you think I'm joking with that, but I'm not. Like, it's, it's legitimately a third person shooter. <laughs> metal plate here, metal plate there. So many metal plates. Uh, this one of the monitors, blah blah blah. Oh, we found one. Cool, we can get the hell out of here now. I'm only here for the coins. Alright, so it looks like we kind of have like a little courtyard going here. Like, but it's still blocked off. Which is sad, but it's all nice bamboo. Um, let's go this way first. Check out here. I find this part of the, the school very ironic, especially after um, Sakura's death, because this is a dojo <laughs> just on on the fifth floor of the school. <laughs> like it's an actual it's an actual dojo. <laughs> um, as you can see, we've got. Uh, hold on, why is it? The straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? Oh, we got another one. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of super old school public bathhouses. I know, it's a dojo full of Sakura, like Sakura trees. So it's like. <laughs> so ironic like that after her death she never gets access to this right considering like she's the ultimate martial artist like it's upsetting a suit of armor is on display it's extremely japanese oh we got another coin uh what else can we look at Ooh, what's up here uh, this is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. It seems pretty useless when it, and he's not on it. Eh. What else can we look at? Ooh, the Sakura tree. Uh, even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. So, it's never actually stated at what point in time, like what part of the year that this takes place in. But if we're gonna go by, like, the way cherry blossoms bloom, it's usually, like, mid to, like, early April, early to mid-April that they bloom. So I'm gonna assume, from, like, this being in full bloom or whatever, that Danganronpa 1 takes place in early April. It's my theory, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, this is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? Uh, that target seems pretty far away. I gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. Wow, I found a coin. Oh, it's the same thing Indeed. all over again. Okay, cool. Uh, what else did I miss here? Nothing! Alright, well, let's talk to Kirigiri. Oh, serious now. What Kyoko told me yesterday, what the heck did it mean? Oh, flashback. Ikusaba. Flashback! The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Ooh. Surveillance cameras. Wow. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that... Whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. 
But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. Okay. Bye. Alright, well, I think I've explored this room to the fullest, so let's get the hell out of here. Um, let's head down here and talk to Hina. How you doing? Um, this floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. I ain't gonna say anything because spoilers. I played this game before. Um, so here is 5C. Oh. Oh. What the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled. And this isn't. This isn't the pink blood that we've seen before. So you know it's really fucked up <laughs> when it's the real blood and not pink blood. <laughs> Sour, pugnant, and po impossibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying <laughs> the smell of death, their flesh and fat and blood? Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yep. But he was right. I had experienced this smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It's like the smell of a battlefield. This floor is where they built the fuck machine. I don't think so. I don't think so, Mike. No. Monokuma must have. Hey! Come what? on now! My fault again? He shows up just in time, eh? Stop trying to blame everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 no. It's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, eegy squeezy little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I've watched the animes. Yes, he does. <laughs> I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs in those mean old RPGs? Uh -oh. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait. I can't so it's wait. not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What is he talking about? He just left it the way he found it. What's the meaning of all this? Alright, time to explore! Eye for an eye. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. Is all this really blood? Hmm. See- Now that I'm thinking about it, because I've played these games before and I, I do not trust this bear. Right, um, see, I've played the games and I've, I've, I've watched the anime and I know the backstory behind this room, this room specifically. And like the events leading up, up to it and the events after it and all that. And my only question is why did Hope's Peak not clean this up? <laughs> why did they just leave it? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> I don't understand. 
You know? I mean... I do understand, but I don't, you know? It's... it's you have to have watched the anime and, and, and played the second game and... Uh, it's just a long fucking thing to explain, I guess. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? Seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep up with someone like that. We got some dead body outlines. There's white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always seen it, see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. Uh, no matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are always following our every move, blah blah blah, yeah, we've seen these. We know these ones. That's it, so let's just talk to Domi. Um, Byakuya? What about, about what Monokuma just told us? It's like I'm not even here, he must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard, or is he just flat out ignoring me? What else? What else can we do? I think we've pretty much noticed everything. So, I think we can get out of here. I don't really want to be in there for very long. You know? Uh, now there's this very long hallway, which we will run down. It is the bio lab, it says, and there's the word raw written on it for some reason. Never mind. It's locked. Shit's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says bio lab. A bio lab that we're forbidding in from seeing into. Kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. All right, so that's been locked. We, the only thing we have left is this room over here, with the pretty doors. Pretty open doors. Ooh! We have an indoor garden! Like a greenhouse! With like, look! The, the, the ceiling is like... Glass! That's pretty! All right, let's look around, see what we can find. That's a big ass flower. Ugh, what is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out. That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it, and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak Eek added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. <laughs> There's a wrestling show going behind the raw door. <laughs> The ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Oh, welcome back! Um... So apparently, we have an ultimate botanist, and if I remember correctly, I think they show up in... Danganronpa Zero, which is a light novel series. Think. Actually, by the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Well, Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Not that I know anything about that myself. <laughs> Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. 
Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. More stuff for me to spend my non-existent money on. Uh, what else? We have... This! Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? There's actual chickens in the chicken coop! Wow! It's like Stardew Valley! <laughs> They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. Seems safe. It's a chicken. It's really a live, right? There's no mistake. I'm not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? Oh, we have to check all of the chickens. That's a very terrible chicken noise. Like, that doesn't even sound like a chicken to me. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we checked all the chickens. Yeah, let's step away from the chicken coop. <laughs> oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly? Hmm. Five, you know, the number that comes after four and before six. At least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least 30% right. And it's a number of power. A refreshing number on par with the hand squeezed all natural lemonade. Uh, what? What the fuck is he on about now? <laughs> sure. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it cr control the air conditioning or something? Oh, he's back. It's for the sprinklers. Oh, okay. Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set off to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, the settings panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinkler sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning. Yep, you got it. It is super user friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Yes. yes. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? This man's calling calling Makoto out. First piss in the bed, now now water fetish. I'm gonna go tell everyone. Well, all right then. Jesus. All right. Chicken coop. Woo! There's still precisely five chickens. Mm. All right. I want the monitor. I want to see if it actually has... No, didn't have it. Alright. What else are we looking at? We got a camera. Again. Maybe it'll give us another Monokuma coin. Just to be sure, I should take a look in that sh tool shed. This place seems totally disorganized from a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? Huh? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond! Huh! Who else had crazy diamond on their body? Uh, Mondo? Crazy diamond? 
I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Let's look at this lawnmower. There's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's actually gonna take care of the lawn? <laughs> He's like, uh, I'm not taking care of the fucking lawn. No way. Uh, there are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Yes. That was the entire point. I mean, you were supposed to kill people too, but you know. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There's so many different kinds to choose from. Hmm. You know what? Hold on. I want to check it. See. Nope. Nothing else. Alright. We can get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, so the ultimate botanist only appears in Japanese only sound novel that came with the third Blu ray box set of. Oh. No, I could have sworn that he was in, or they were in, uh, I don't know if it was a he or she. They were in Danganronpa Zero. Then again, I don't know. I'm, I haven't I consumed any Danganronpa media besides the manga in, like, decades now. I'm joking about that, by the way. Yo! At first I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out they're just paint they just painted the walls and the ceiling. Oh. I thought they were glass too, but it's just paint. Well don't I look like Boo Boo the Fool. You know? Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. Of course it's Japan only. Yeah, of course. What the heck? That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm ex exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, the end is nigh. they'll put to their plan for global human extinction and into action. Oh my god. Well? I'm serious. <laughs> Alright, well... I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. Strange! I could have sworn they were in Ding and Rumpa Zero. But then again, Ding and Rumpa Zero was. Japanese only, and there only exist fan translations of it right now. So. Before too long, everybody is here. It would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still field a basketball team. It's like that M. Night film where the plants were taking over hey. the happening. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Hmm. Can we st you stop all this group and hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Okay. Let's start with Hina. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to be kind of that used to kind of be Sakura's job, but mm. anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you no notice about the layout? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? 
Huh? Why do you ask? So then. Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Something on all the other floors, but not the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. Hmm. There's only five floors to this school. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But... but that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, I'm not sure. I, we absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. Alright, what does Kirigiri have to say? Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor we couldn't access. Mm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or that's <laughs> I got <laughs> That's a That's a Resident Evil reference! That's a Resident Evil reference! We're not in a horror game, though. Hm. Either way, we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right, too. <laughs> Alright. You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. We're serious. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. <laughs> That's a Mario reference! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, plant 42. Yeah. Anyway, that must be a must thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7:30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. The idiots say they say idiots never catch colds, you know. What will they not reference? If you, I don't think they, they have a lot of references in this. There's tons of JoJo references. I think because the creator of this game was really into JoJo. There's also, um, if you go through Hina's uh, social link, like in the school mode, which it, we can have access to after the, we complete the game, um, you find out that she has a huge ass crush on Jason Statham and that one of her favorite films is Crank. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I, think it, I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on! You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. Uh, so, uh, what was the question again? Oh. Don't worry, you just answered it. Oh. Alright, let's talk to Toko. All right. Hey, Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Sexiest bald man. Oh, jeez. Ah, I'd forgotten about that. Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on! 
Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. You honor me, master. <laughs> Don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. Seriously, you're just gonna take it? Shut up! And don't interrupt when Master and me are talking. Um... Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was this. She... She just pulled out a fucking knife?! Alright! <laughs> a knife?! It's like that... It's like that fine. It's like, what do you have?! A knife! Now! <laughs> so funny. Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo sized. What? It's a survival knife of some type. But what's it doing in the classroom? What? How would I know? Very suspicious. What are you gonna use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. <sighs> Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. <laughs> mm, so what do we do? God. So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that. Hold on, don't I get a say? It's all clear. It now. just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes! Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Uh, do I still have bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm so sorry it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a val valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? <laughs> Did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. <laughs> I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. Ah, uh, <laughs> that I would ever experience such a dream. Okay, okay, calm. Okay, reel it in, sis. Come on. <laughs> we don't need- no. We don't need to see this. <laughs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Alright, let's see what Tagami has to say. <laughs> By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange fl room on the fifth floor? Well, not strange is a massive- No, strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've ever encountered here so far. What the hell are you talking about? The smell of it itself was horrific, far beyond any normal mur murder scene and every body smell concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But... But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other I can words... only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. <laughs> A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by... The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh. <laughs> You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is... The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. Ah. Koto has all the respect in this group. So it seems like this might have been the tragedy. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. That's true. It's all clear. Now. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. 
I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, and hopeless. But still, how is it not one of us has ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? I think Hero also you know? had other stuff to talk about. So let's talk about the chicken coop. There are a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Hmm. That's right. Five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Aw, she's so cute. I love her so much. She loves chickens. They raise them up big and fat, and then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> She's such a foodie. Oh, oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? No. No, you should not eat raw chicken. I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. Alright, we, we got one more to uh, talk about here. Tool shed. You noticed it too, huh? That pickaxe. What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words "crazy diamond" have been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy diamond. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar. I think. It's true. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? Ah, that's it. I remember. It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. God. We are just... We're fucking Sherlock Holmes here. <laughs> his jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have stuck it in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here, and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe, pickaxe is somehow connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we could use it to call for help. Huh? I'm questioning all of my life choices now. How are we gonna call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know, maybe we could use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it, I'm gonna make crop circles. Well? And we could use those to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. You know? Well, back then my personally ha personality hadn't quite solidified yet. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So, now what do we do? Hmm. Well, Starting today, you're all put. You're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um. So what is it? Is it that you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well. Kyoko's identity, but Kyoko is Kyoko, right? Yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro. Hiro's the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky the than lucky these days, but... So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um... Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal 
their true identity. <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? What do you mean? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is You can't be serious suspicious. right now, can you? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However... But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us? Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing? Hey. What are you gonna do? Torture me? <laughs> Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you her room key, she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. <laughs> and if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that? That's fine. Fine. I understand. <laughs> Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Togami and held out her room key to him. It can't be. <laughs> uh, okay. We, uh... Interesting. Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her all her memory. Uh, um... Kyoko was like, suck it! Here you go! <laughs> <laughs> if you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where the only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. However... In the worst school, where only the worst things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do any harm to any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Well, all right. The dining hall went silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing. What the heck? What's her deal? But... I think you went too far taking her room key like that. For her, that wasn't <laughs> far enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... <laughs> but what's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus, this situation? It's just like before. It's no different when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I... I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. <laughs> What the? What, what? Uh, um... what the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, I mean... Cause look... Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's a justifiable reason to scream. What, what? It's you! How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very... Now angry. I'm really angry! Oh, he's pissed. Angry at what? At the thief! Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst. Huh? Uh, what? Hey! My precious! They stole it. There's a Lord of the Rings reference. There's a lot of references in this game. Your precious? Your teacher had such faith in you. And mm. this is how you repay me? With betrayal? Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um... Uh... 
but what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless in this on the street. What the heck? And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? So, um... He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that may mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing to be able to steal something from Monokuma? Whoa, we're learning a lot today. But if that's true, what was it and why would she do that? Can't really think about that now. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. I like how he has like all the cameras in the background, just showing off everything. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. All right, I guess it's um... time to go back to our dorm room. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow, and about Kyoko. Hmm. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms. Don't go wandering around. Well... Not like we need to, you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. See, he's now working with us. Although he's very strong-headed <laughs> about it. And he thinks that he's the leader. Um, but yeah, at least he's attempting to socialize with the rest of the group. Ah, that's right. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. I think the safest place would be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Hmm? As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important... Did I hear the doorbell? Uh... Oh! Hello! Kyoko? Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during the night time, but... I can't just not go. Here we are. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on this earth. Wow. We got a special key. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right. So we could uncover whatever secrets might lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was o over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. 
So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. Correct! I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. And what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Uh, did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. Uh, I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. Dangerous? In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba is could be the mastermind? Anyway. I read that wrong. <laughs> anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key on even unlock? So I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again. Well I'll go and find out. Wait. So you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention? But we don't actually know if there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us. Is that right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Okay. Or maybe if the mastermind can't monitor, uh, monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. See, she was testing a theory with last night, so she was making big risks, man. Ooh, she's smart. Huh. Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what we may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever, and I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have been have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high, When I think that might happen what might happen if we fail. Why is that? I don't think you need to worry about that all much. That all that much. After all. With mineral restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. We could he could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? Correct. In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words. In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But if you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. She's always been very determined from the start. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead and the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel and wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my de de determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. If something happens? However... I'm not planning on dying, 
but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it, just because you asked me to. But I'm not- I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can't- you can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure. Because then there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well... It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I can't just forget that easily. So then... Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different than any other time. And, like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. He's fallen in love, my friends. This ain't like Sayaka. He's getting the real butterflies this time. No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Alright. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here, I got a bone to pick with you. And a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise, you being the one to call me out. Hey, hey! Hey, by the way... Huh? Most what were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you? In the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet. So wet and warm. I bet you guys removed to conform with local and international censorship laws. I love this game <laughs> all over her didn't you not gonna talk huh sure I get it well whatever unlike you I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X rated exploits oh so is that why there were no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse bullseye or is it because, maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway. <laughs> if Monokuma was attacked, Makoto chose violence today. <laughs> Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here, so what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella. Actually, but in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. All bears are confirmed non-binary. Um, actually, there is. Wow, Makoto. Way to be fucking... Not gender inclusive. What? Seriously? <laughs> My then, entire what am I? Oh, he's having an existential crisis now! He's like, what the fuck? What am I? That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is all a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. I feel like 100 megaton is a reference to something. And I wanna say it's in reference to fucking um, Shin Megami Tensei. Because I have heard that in SMT games, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you're not gonna ask something useful, like how to get the best honey or earth sign breeding tips. I don't want to know about bear breeding tips. This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? What the? 
God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and blank. That's it. What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what is going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open your up your skull and find out. Uh, dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Uh-oh. <gasps> so, my favorite part of the game! Monokuma Theater! Monokuma Theater! Brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited! Wow! Just name drop the fucking developers, why don't ya? Oh! Uh, we got a cutscene! Um... <laughs> I don't think I remember this from... the original game. But this is the original game, so I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. That's weird. But, go Sakura! Beat the shit out of it! This is gonna get copyrighted or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sakura's Re Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. What the hell did that say? Of course, if enough people buy Danganronpa, who knows? So buy copies of For You and All Your Friends. <laughs> this super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development? But it will start back up again if Danganronpa sells well? Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. You know what it is. You know what it is, you gotta go out and buy some Danganronpa so we can get that Sakura game. Good morning! Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Alright! Anyway, we gotta get to the dining hall. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You're really thinking a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission. <laughs> I just thought, I mean, since the day had passed, maybe reset. Hmm? Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign from my neck that says bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. <laughs> hello. Yes, hello. I would like one Sakura Ugami video game, please. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. Uh, if I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. Where the fuck is Genocide or Jack? I need her more than I need Toko at this moment. <coughs> as long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. Ugh. It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, anyway, um... where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um... Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up to anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing I can do is right now is just keep quiet. I used to like Toko. I used to. Oh boy. 
Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah, are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? What? What? Uh, what do you want now? Hey! Hey! I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Ooh. Well, it's hard to say. Huh? Huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh-huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is, and they name some indie bullcrap? This is I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness, it looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor, monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. <clears throat> uh. Hey, hey. So was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hm. We have no idea. What the heck? And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? For serious. Toko's always in a constant state of about to nut. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even if Monica Kuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we return to our rooms. Alright, it's free time! You know what that means. So, it looks like, with the exception of Kyoko, we have... Four options. Four? Yeah, four options. We have... Uh, Yasuhiro, we have Hina, we have Toko, and we have Tagami. Uh, what do you guys think we should do? Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Alright. So first off, we're gonna go to the school store and buy some gifts. Hopefully. Wrong one. Wrong button! Hina is my favorite too. My favorites are Hina and Togami, and then Yasuhiro. I like all three of them. They're my big favorites. Would you like to try your hand against the almighty uh, Mono Machine? Hell yeah. Let's get some gifts. All right. What the hell is that? I don't know! <gasps> we got a lucky! It means we get an extra one! Wow! We're so lucky! Alright, next one. I thought we already got the crystal skull. Wow. We got 
this item already. Oh, you know what it is? It's, it's okay. I get it. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go see Hina. Oh, we got another lucky! Wow, we're doing pretty well, actually. I don't know what the hell. Oh, it's a loincloth. Oh my god, we got two luckies in a row. A cup of coffee. I think I know someone who would like that. We got a sword. We got a 7% chance that we'll get a repeat, and I want to keep it at 100 coins, so we're just going to do that. <gasps> That's a new one! We didn't get that. Alright. I think we're good. Alright, let's go find Hina. Since everybody has decided that Hina is the one that we are going to be seeing. Where is she though? Where do she be? Where do she be? Oh. Who is that? No. No. Yes! Alright, let's head to there. And let's go to the dojo. Hell yeah. There she be! Okay. Even if it's hard, you have to endure, endure, endure. Whoa. That's a quote from the famous marathon run runner Samuel Wenjiru. But every person's endurance has a limit. Hmm. Of course we should. Yeah. I think we need some change a change of pace. And when I think change of pace, you got it. I can only think 50 laps in the pool. I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Alright. He and I grew a little closer today. Yes. I think she would like those chips. Yeah. I think she'd like the potato chips. <laughs> Thanks, I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? Aw, uh, hey Mokoto. Wow, that was a very, that was whiplash. That change of music. <laughs> it was just, oh, nice, 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 and then wham. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? Well... I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Well, that would explain it. Aww. Tired, so tired. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs, then deep fry them. You're looking for donuts. Oh, I know, you want some donuts, don't you? Um... Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You'd eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, don't you? Just a second. Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth, no, who in the whole universe could say they hate donuts? Um... Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. Next you get that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk about the donut effective, that's what they're talking about. How could you hate donuts? How could you hate donuts? That's absolutely not true. Ah, I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here. There's a Niagara Falls reference. 
I live about two hours away from there. I get get out of my way, Makoto, or I get an uppercut with your name on it. I'm not in the way. <laughs> Wait for me, God of Donuts. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around here, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Wow! Yay! Well, I feel the donut love, yes. Love me some donuts. I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead and now I'm getting chills. Uh-oh, this is bad. I think I might be getting sick. This is something new. All right, who are we uh, hanging out with now? You know what, let's hang out with Tagami. Let's find out where the hell he is. Let's just hang out with them. That's not what I wanted, but okay. Escape. Escape. Let's hang out with Tagami, because I want to give him the coffee. Also, we haven't hung out with him a lot. We've only hung out with him, like, twice scurrying around again, huh? Looking at you makes me physically ill. Hmm. Yeah. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge my attention. I hope you appreciate this. I spent some time with Byakuya. We grew a little closer. Yes. I want to... No! Hm. No! <laughs> no! Uh, sure, what's up? You know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us, are able to succeed in life. So, in other words... For the other 99%, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Spending every waking hour toiling to crap together... Or scrape together... <laughs> crap. <laughs> together a meager living, just barely getting by. What? I just don't understand. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Why are you asking me? Because you're part of that 99%, of course. Why didn't you even feel the need to ask? I knew he was going to insult me somehow. <laughs> Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. So tell me, how does it feel to live a life without hope? Without potential or ambition or dreams? Come on. I don't have ambition or dreams? I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but... Do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? Okay. Your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet, those are the words of the 99%. That is how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. Stop saying stuff like that. Sorry, I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in a position to change the world. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Just wait until the end of the game, bruh! <laughs> you could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would change. Your existence is of no consequence. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spent all my time comparing my life to other people's, I'd never be happy. Sure, maybe you can do that. You were guaranteed success from the day you were born, so... What? Hold it. From the day I was born? You have no idea. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no con concept of what that truly means. Have I gone to battle and emerge... I have gone to battle and emerge victorious. That is why I am the chosen. What are you talking about? Ooh, little backstory here. So they don't really go into full detail of this in the game, but if you read the light novels, the Tagami light novels, uh, it goes further into this. Um, so spoilers for that. 
but um, Tagami is not uh, he's not uh, unfamiliar with the whole battle royale type competition stuff. Uh, in order to get his his heirdom, I guess, or his his status as the heir to the Tagami conglomerate, uh, he had to go through a not a similar death battle thing, but more of like a a battle of wits, kind of. Uh, you're spoiled, all of you, running away into a world of self indulgence, battle competition rivalry. You run away from it all. That is why the ninety percent. 99% walk the path they do. Such ignorance. Good god, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After showing a surprising amount of emotion, he made his exit. What the heck got into him? He was acting totally normal up until... Until I said something about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. wonder why that set him off. Oh, I unlocked a skill! Ooh, envious influence. Wow. All right, before we do anything, hold on, before we do anything. Oh, I don't think I can look up my, my skills here. All right, that's fine. Girl, I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. My time wasn't a lot for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. Wow. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. Oh boy. Which is all to say. Uh, Makoto? Uh, I, I, I think this is serious. Uh, at some point I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under understand. He got the Rona. He's got... Oh no. He's got to wear a mask now. Oh no. That voice. It's so familiar. Ah, uh, it's... I understand. It's me. I understand. We're having a fucking lucid... May it lay on your stomach, Makoto, will help your lungs. The virus. <laughs> We're having like a like a fever dream. We're having a like lucid, like trippy mushroom dream or something. I don't know. <laughs> um. Understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? What am I trying to stay? Hope. hope. This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. Uh. First off, my dude, you're you're wearing a goddamn hoodie under your blanket. <laughs> like, take the hoodie off, and you won't be as fever feverish. Trust me. Like, <laughs> my dream just now. What? So strange, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, alrighty then. That was interesting. 
very fun. This game is so fun. I love this game. <laughs> it just, it's great. Why are we listening to this man pant? We don't need to listen to this. Okay. Oh. Kyoko? What the? Okay. <laughs> Why is a me Mexican wrestler trying to kill Makoto? I don't think they are. Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom, repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that. Pretty damn abnormal. It's like the Truman Show. Like everything just seems to work out perfectly for Truman. You know? A little too perfectly. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to get ready to greet another beautiful day. All right. Let's get the heck up. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Huh. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up from the rest up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the uncomfortable unfathomable lethargy. I spell I said that wrong. It's lethargy. <laughs> they all had disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught, either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab only onto the fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. Why do we why do we need a flashback of what happened? I came down with a fever. I couldn't quite quite get to sleep. And I I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then all of a sudden I was awake. And a fucking luchador is there. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. What a strange... What a mysterious Joko. That's a Two Best Friends reference. That's a really old Two Best Friends reference. <laughs> uh... Well, I guess... Oh. Okay, well... The knife is gone. Alright. It means the knife was stolen. Somebody stole the knife. We just saw this. Why is it a flashback already? I don't know. Anime is weird like that. They have to flashback every like five seconds. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Oh boy. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko there? What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. 
I should head to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Makoto. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure is the sky's blue. Hey, Hina. Uh, why is she the only one here? Um, you really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that it actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why didn't... Why did you come get me? Did something happen? Hmm. Um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else, and then they can tell you all about it. So, is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? That's right. Oh, yeah, we stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So... You got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Alright, everybody, this... Some weird shit's going on. Alrighty. Alrighty, here we go. We're in the gym. We're heading to the gym. So, like, I will kind of make a side note here. In this game, they don't really reward you for not using the the, the fast travel system. In the second game, they kind of do reward you for not using the, the fast travel system. For actually running around to every location. Um, and you'll see when I start that game. Which will be very soon! Because we're almost done this game. Almost. We got a couple more trials to go through. Ah, there he is! Huh? This is oh, worse hey, than Makoto. being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now, like it's no big deal. <clears throat> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. And then I noticed they'd formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was... What the? Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. Ah! Uh, what? Um... Excuse me? Spread out in front of them were the remains of a Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. <laughs> dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Toko's face in that image, she's like... It's an ass. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She's not even faced. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Alright, well, let's look at it. Looks like it's been professionally disassembled. How is that possible? Tearing apart something like this isn't dangerous? Let's talk to, to, to Kaki, since he seems to be the leader of this. Seriously, what were you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? What? Idiot, if you hadn't been sleeping in, you'd already know what's going on. Hey, come well, on. I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Mm. Yakuya found this little fella laying around, then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. I appreciate that Kate pretends surprise with us. <laughs> well, see, <laughs> some of it is pretend because I do know what actually happens, but then other parts are like, what? I don't remember this shit! 
because it has been a while since I I played this game fully through. So that doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any in new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initi initiated this disassembly of process. Blech. I cannot speak tonight. It's comfy. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it was master stroke of genius. A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunctioned, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down, so in other words... then maybe something happened to his puppeteer. The mastermind. Something un unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master, they ran away in terror. Could it be? Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the Mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Hmm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. Hey, guys. Uh, I don't think now is a good time for light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is it? Uh, that's a bomb! Huh? It's a what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? A bomb? That's super bad, we need to get rid of it! Roger that! Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden move movement is sure to go off. What? <laughs> Motion sensor? For serious? Oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't ya? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, uh. <laughs> Casual acknowledging of a bomb. <gasps> You're so not fine. You're all like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> you couldn't have said that to begin with. Tagami. Oh. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be me. Hey, come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call me the race al already. <sighs> Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging onto it's not gonna do any good. Uh, um... Oh yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Alright, he just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the Mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could have that been? I said that wrong, but okay. Yeah, no big deal. Just, there was a bomb. It's fine. Was that the Mastermind? Did we, did we meet the Mastermind tonight? Okay, um, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't, huh, us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's a no. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. Hmm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. <laughs> really? Naturally. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the Mastermind does come back while we're in there, what? if you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You could be chicken number six. Such this is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. 
but yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear now. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere, master, to all ends of the earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We found determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Are we on the fourth? This is not the fourth. Oh, this is the fourth floor. Okay. I mean, here we are. Let's just go. Let's just do it. Hmm. It's locked, as expected. So, what are you gonna do? What? Isn't it obvious we're gonna tear this door off its hinges? Huh? Wait, but the rules say... Hmm. We've seen that the Mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But, like Makoto said, if the Mastermind did show up while we were in there... So, in other then words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey... Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far, we can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. Okay, relax. It's not that amazing. I mean... We're serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice, we're desperate. Okay. Let's do it, let's rip this door down. Actually... Ac okay, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. And we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh. What about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could be, be that could very well be exactly what we need. Hm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was probably just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the uh, pickaxe and be back here by nine oh one. Oh, good night, Finn. Have a good night. Thank you for sh coming. What? What? That's straight up unreasonable. <clears throat> By myself? Naturally. Surely. You like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> okay, I want to say this is a, that that was a Adventure Time reference, but I don't think Adventure Time was airing. Was it? I think it was though. But like, I don't under. I don't think it was air. Like, I don't. I don't know. Maybe. I don't. Know. With that, Toko ran off. Loud as a herd of rabbit ele elephants. Hey. For serious though, are we just gonna knock this door down? <laughs> no problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flabbusted. No, I'm totally flab... flab stuff. <laughs> Fap sauce? I can't believe I just said that on stream. It just goes to show you that this is literally... A game from the mid 2000s to the like the early 2010s, <laughs> because nobody uses the word fap sauce anymore. No one. Gross! Where'd that come from? Wait, genocide, Jill. Where'd you come from? You called for me, so I appeared. Hello, hello. It's the wonderfulest, murderfulest fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. Come 
come on. I missed her. I'm so glad she's back. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Seeping imbecile. Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. <laughs> Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids. That's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. Uh, but I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of usefulness I find difficult to tell, right? Mm, yes, ah, yes. the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery. Hmm. Yep. Have you reached that certain age? Now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. Now what are you talking about? Ugh. Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. You gotta be kidding! I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> Corpus? You did you hear me? I said a corpse. A corpse? Yep. That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden. What did well, you say? Then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okay. We found a corpse. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... We found it! There it is! I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? Well, here we are. We've got a corpse. Just to make things clear, last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. I told you, there's a corpse hanging out here! No way! Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? You need to begin looking around right away, however... Be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Uh... I think we should just look at the dead body. Uh, we need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up at dead here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing, all signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood there that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? huh? How can you tell? Well... Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of her body. Yeah, the more I look, I'm, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then could it be... <laughs> Okay then. Yes. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. By the time he'd called it out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot to out toward the mask, and in the next instant, he <laughs> <laughs> just went fucking zoom. There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. 
It blew up and it blew up and it blew up and it blew up! My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out, but then... Come on. Hurry up, put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Oh, fuck. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh! Zeet! <laughs> oh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I don't think we're gonna tell who that is. Uh, but what the hell, man? It exploded? What did you I say? had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... What? It's burnt to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be, be able to eat steak again. Oh. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we gonna uh, find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? <laughs> I can't believe someone just left an exploding luchador just laying around. Huh? What? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Um... There's only one person missing. Uh, um... It's Kyoko. Kyoko? Then that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Hmm. Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, but I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words, the mastermind. <laughs> what? what? The mastermind? What the heck? Come on, there's no way the mastermind got charbroiled. Get serious. Hmm. I agree, normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But... But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. Seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. What the heck? He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Huh? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Speed. What? What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. I see. There's another student here, and it's a female. That would match the body's characteristics. So, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds like the super- it sounds super mastermind-y, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay. So the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair? But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage bo Bigfoot, how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What the heck? None of this makes any sense. It took just to just su suddenly show up and then die. Hmm. I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, ah hey, wait. What? What? 
Um, Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko? Oh yeah, she totally got blown up, huh? Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, fuck her. I hope she's dead. <laughs> like, God, what an asshole. Oh, no, she's alive. Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. What just happened, Master? You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then I don't <laughs> mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you hit and exhale. That's enough for me to live. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. I should take a closer look at the body once more time. Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Uh, don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. Hold on, there's something on the ground there. It's a key? Is it what... Kyoko took from Monokuma? But what did you steal? So I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like a Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. And this key is... What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So, even you don't know then? Hmm. Makoto, I'm gonna give you a very important task. Huh? I see. That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So, in other words... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So, I'm your errand boy now. Well, since we're up here, I'll uh, check out the uh, bio lab first. The bio lab was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I found the garden in the keyhole. The key isn't close to fitting. Which means the key doesn't go to this room. <sighs> Alrighty. Let's head back down to the fourth floor, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it could go to the data center. Uh I'm gonna try the headmaster's room first. You know. The headmaster's room was locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key I'd found in the garden. Nope. Alright. Let's head to the data center, which is just around the corner. door to the data center was definitely locked before. Ooh. We found it. It fits. And this is the key to the data center. And managed to unlock the data center. Guess all that running around paid off. Have to go tell everyone else. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we can get into the data center now? I see. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? Hm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. 
looks like the door is still unlocked. Um... Hey, so when you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, um... You're asking that question now? <laughs> Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? In other words... It's in your hands. Again? <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna use me as a human meat shield. Means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just getting used. Alright. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. Well, here we are in the in the magical data room. In a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up until now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. I mean, you can see everything. Like, look, you can see everything. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look at what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. This is... What? It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back, feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <gasps> to watch us? <gasps> then this room is it's all clear. the mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here, watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> the body in the garden, if they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. <gasps> then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. <laughs> For serious? It's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill him himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body... Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was it? But... But if the Mastermind really is dead, that means we finally can get out of this hellhole. How about that? We gotta hurry up and find the exit, come on. That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? But what about the exit? Hm. If the Mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the Mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. Hm. And I'm bothered by the fact that the Mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. Hmm. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There was absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But... Why is it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such That's ignorance. exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you! Now do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from talking to master ever again. <laughs> what the... The mastermind's purpose and why they were killed... This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. <laughs> okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the Mastermind. Alright. I have been streaming for about two hours now. And... I think this is a good a time as any to leave off. Um, I will be streaming again on Monday because I have Monday off because uh, it's Easter Monday um, 
so yeah I'll I we will pick up very soon we don't have to wait as long anymore uh, or at least for this week um, so yeah I think I'm gonna end it here today uh, that being said let's save the game Alright, and I will see you guys um, on Monday. Uh, thank you guys for showing up. It's always a pleasure to stream for you guys, especially my regulars that show up and, and the new people that always end up showing up. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye!